Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Julie and we talk about handbags here on this channel. So if you are into that, go ahead and hit subscribe. This is kind of a new weird intro that I'm trying by the way. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so good to see you. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about the seven reasons why I don't spend a ton of money on handbags anymore. And when I say a ton of money, I'm talking about like between seven and $800 and higher on each handbag. Um, if you've been following my channel for the last three years, I've gone through major waves. So first started off with buying Louis Vuitton, then I went into coach and then I went back into high-end designer and then back now into more what you would consider, I guess, a contemporary, but I always consider every single thing that I love um, luxury because it brings me happiness. But those bags that I currently have in my collection are definitely less expensive than $700. So I'm gonna talk about the reasons why I am no longer buying expensive handbags anymore. And definitely, this is my point of view, you guys, and I just wanna let you know I'm not here to offend, and I'm here just to point out you know, the reasons why I stopped spending um, money on high-end designer. Um, this was brought up about a year ago by one of my subscribers and I just really wanted to discuss, you know, the reasonings why, because I think a lot of people wanted to know, well, why did you, why don't you buy, you know, LV anymore? And you used to be all about it. And I do want to explain, you know, just my reasoning. So let's go ahead and just jump in. I have a ton of notes that I did take. Um, Okay, number one, just most importantly, is that my bags that I have in my collection that are like Coach, Longchamp, Marc Jacobs, Dooney, they give me just as much joy, if not more, than my um, expensive bags that I've had. Like, I love looking at them, I love using them, they're just a joy for me to use, and I just love them just as much. So, it makes me, not want to spend that much money that I've worked really hard for on such expensive bags when I can buy something that's like a third or a quarter of the price. I'm not necessarily all about labels. I don't need that. I am in my 40s. I don't care. I just love the quality of the bags that I have. And for me, building my bank account matters more. <laughs> so that's number one. These bags that I have make me happy. I mean, happier, I'd have to say, than the bags that I had before. Um, number two is affording life as a single mom on a commission-only income. That goes in waves and spurts in my job. So I have to basically live on savings my whole entire life. I don't necessarily have a paycheck every single month. Um, I'm a single mom, I'm putting on the party. And so basically, if I'm out, you know, chucking away a couple grand on a bag when I could have used that money to feed my kids, um, you know, basically the, the core things in life come first, okay? And then I'd say even before spending anything on myself and on bags, I want to make sure that my kids are happy. So, and a lot of times, guys, let's just face it. It does take money in a way. I mean, experiences and quality time, absolutely 100%. But like Dean soccer costs money. Traveling with his team costs money. Those things add up and they need to be priority first before I would even consider spending money on a bag. And if I'm dumping like 1,500, 3K on a bag, I could think to myself, golly, you know, that could possibly pay for, you know, that can go towards his first new car that he's gonna be needing here in a couple years. So I'm just really trying to be as responsible as possible. Um, again, there's just no need for me to, to spend that kind of money. Number three, um, so basically I've asked the question like, well, you have so many um, like lower cost bags, you could sell them all and just have like a few, you know, luxury designer bags 
but that just doesn't sound fun to me. I'm just gonna be for real for you guys. I really love a variety and I really love having as many, that sounds so weird. I really love having as many bags as I want. It's more just like, I really wanna have like about a 25 to 30 bag collection, just so we can have some nice variety. Like, I love the colors. I love having a lot of variety to pick from. Um, I couldn't have 30 to 40, 2,000, $3,000 bags right now. I just can't. Um, and nor do I necessarily think I would ever want to. I mean, if I hit the lottery, you know, and money was no object, maybe, but money is an object. And I just, you know, I really like to have some variety and, and everything like that to go with outfits and just to use and have fun with. So um, point four is, and this might sound weird, but almost like there's a guilt whenever I would be carrying something on my shoulder that was worth like $2,000 or $2,500, um, I just would feel sometimes unworthy and guilty of owning something so expensive. Um, I didn't grow up with much, you know, like my parents were up until I was about 15 years old, my mom and dad, like, they told me no a lot on things. And I always heard the word that's expensive. No. Um, it wasn't until I was in high school to where my dad was taken off a little bit better with his business. But, you know, I was just told no a lot. And I think like my mom and dad still instill like very conservativeness. And I think that like they're very conservative and I think I was brought up that way. So, I don't know, I just, for me, I just felt like guilty and unworthy of having something that was so much money on my crook of my arm, on my shoulder. I don't know, you know, and my older son Dean is 13 and you know, if there was something that was, say he wanted something like a new computer or something and I'm telling him, you know, no, not right now, he could just be like, well, mom, sell one of your bags because I know that, you know, you could just get that for me. And he's right. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I can't do it and know that I have dependents, you know, that need me. So I just feel like, no, it's just not for me to have something so expensive on my shoulder. I just really enjoy buying bags on deep sale. I really, really do. And I like being, I love that feeling of like, for instance, with my Florentine Hobo that I just bought, that bag feels like a million dollars and I paid 171 for it. You know, I, as a bag lover, I've tried so many different bags and that bag feels so good. And to just pay so little for that joy, that, is a turn on. I'd rather do that than, you know, and I mean, everybody has, I don't know, it, for me, that matters a lot. So I feel like that's one of my points about, you know, buying bags at a lower price point. I'm gonna just say, I think my last point about not buying high-end designer bags and why I stopped was because I was literally just pitching money away at Fashion File. So, I used to only buy from Fashion File and I would buy a pre-loved bag and use it for a little bit and then decide, I just think I don't love this anymore. And it's so easy just to return it back and then lose 30%. Like it's truly addictive. And I think I was getting really addicted to that and I have lost thousands. I know I've lost thousands of dollars towards Fashion File spending bad. I mean, there was a lot of times I would get a bag and stupidly me cut the tags and then figure out that there's a defect on it and then send it back and lose 30%. So I was just too, I was just so stupid for losing so much money on high-end designer bags. So those are my absolute key points about 
why I'm just buying lower end bags now. Um, I think the biggest thing, just the takeaway is they give me just as much joy. Um, and I don't have to have, um, you know, all the labels and everything like that. Like I'm just over it, you know, I'm just tired. I'm over it. Um, but if you guys like that, then great. You do you like, I'm so happy if that's what you're into. Um, I want to just talk to you a little bit too about where I want my channel to kind of head towards. And because lately I haven't necessarily been doing handbag reviews. So my whole channel started off with me just reviewing, reviewing, reviewing. That's all my, <laughs> that's basically my first 30 videos I think on my channel. And now I really want to just focus on, um, you know, doing more collaborations actually and doing more topics like such as this. I still want to show off bags and show off collections and stuff, but I don't want to necessarily focus so much on reviews. I want to focus on, you know, intermingling um, with other YouTube creators and coming up with like more topics to, you know, discuss and I don't know. I just really kind of want to do that. So let me know what you guys think about the change of my channel. Again, I mean, I think I'll probably do like a fourth of my videos as reviews. And then beyond that, just discuss other meaningful topics in regards to handbags, um, spending habits, and, you know, kind of like everyday life things too, in a way. And then also incorporating a lot more collaborations. I really, really enjoy that. Um, it gets you guys out there to see other YouTubers too who are starting out. That's probably one of my favorite things to do is introduce like brand new YouTubers to you guys. So, all right, well, that's about it. Thanks for watching my channel and take care.